when you channel, the reason it's called channeling, and I made this mistake early on, in some, some of my early books you'll even have me reference channeling. I don't really channel. What I do is I hear. I have a gift of hearing. When I'm done with you today, you will too. I think she already does. Mm -hmm. When you channel any of these entities, these are entities, guides, masters, even angels, fallen angels, what you do is you invite them into your channel. And they take up residence with you. You give them the right to enter. That's a form of possession. You don't want that. Not at all. Okay, so don't do that. What you can do in hearing is that you have a wonderful halo. This is your third eye. It's here. Your third eye is a regulator. And when I do your reading today, I'm going to show you how to open this. The third eye, when the third eye is connected, when your eye is single, your whole body will be filled with light. Do you ever remember hearing that? Yes. It's mm -hmm. in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. When your eye is one with this, your whole body is filled with light. Because when it's connected here and not here, it allows the expansion of this. So when you do Reiki, you have to make an alteration. Okay. Okay. I was a Reiki master teacher right. for 15 years before I understood that I wasn't supposed to be doing that. Um, I had a center in New Hampshire that was the largest center on the whole East Coast. I had an auditorium for 200 people. And I would teach Reiki every weekend. And I have a picture of me on the stage somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was really into this. I, I taught thousands of people before I understood what Reiki really was. So if you make this simple adjustment, you can still do what you were taught. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand, Rei, Ki. Ray means universal. That means anything. Ki means energy. Ray Ki, universal or all energy or all light. That includes these guys. So when you do Ray Ki and you open this channel, okay, and when you have a Reiki attunement, I know because I did it to lots mm -hmm. of people, the Reiki master, what she does is she draws in all of this universal energy into her channel. And she builds it, builds it, builds it, builds it, builds it. And then through the top of your head, mm -hmm. okay, she blows past this and forces it open. And she opens this channel, okay, so that it can expand and take in more light. What this is designed to do is to take in this creator energy. Mm -hmm. But when it blows past and forces open, then your protection is gone, okay, and you can take anything. So when you do Reiki and you draw that in, you're drawing in universal light. This is universal light. This is, this is, this is, she is. So when you're doing that, you're literally vampiring your environment to build energy. It's with a good intention to help somebody else. Okay? You don't have to do that. You go straight to source. You go straight to source. You've got it. Okay? So prior to doing anything from now on, you just make a prayer. You bring your attention to Creator, and you say, I accept no other light. Your healings will be so much stronger. They'll be really, really powerful, and sometimes instantaneous. Okay? Um, you'll learn so much more and so much more quickly. Um, it is very wonderful. Thank you. So no more Reiki. Okay.
okay you use source and when I had my Reiki attunement it was with Dejana Akodi and Dejana had studied because I told you yes I'm old with one of the original Reiki master teachers and her name was Barbara Weber Ray the only Reiki master teacher that had been trained by Mrs. Takata in color Reiki. Mrs. Takata was a sly old woman. She really was. She charged $10,000 for each Reiki attunement. Mm -hmm. She trained 22 masters. She did not like Westerners and she did not give them a lot of truth. She didn't. She had a lot of abilities uh, that she didn't share with her people. But Barbara Weber Ray, she taught Reiki in color or frequency, okay? So when I studied with Dejana, I learned the symbols in colors, which of course they don't teach anywhere else. Right. And Dejana took, didn't take a lot of students. So I learned a piece of Reiki that other practitioners don't know. And come to find out later on that Dr. Yasui never did this. Hmm. He didn't do that. Interesting. He stood in front of his students and he sang. Really? Wow, he went to Creator. Okay. Gotcha. So she altered the She changed the system. Uh, in the Baptist Church, they didn't accept gifts of healing. They didn't in the Catholic Church either. You had to be a male, and only with the anointing of oil and prayer by the elders of the church, there could be any healing. I had gifts of healing. Yeah. I was healing my kids. I healed my husband and other people I was healing. So I wanted to be with a group of people that were doing healing. That's why I went to Dejan. I had heard about Reiki. So in the 80s, I found Dejan and Reiki. So when it came time for the, the attunement, she, I didn't know what this was about. I'm sitting in a dark room with candles and this woman <laughs> mumbling weird things. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh dear God, don't let anything come into me that's not of you. And I didn't get Reiki. And I know that. But what I felt at that time was just a pure anointing from God. And I think every time I did a Reiki attunement, I didn't give Reiki. I gave what was given to me. And so, but I taught Reiki symbols. And interestingly, it wasn't until I came here in 2004 and I was teaching that I started teaching Japanese people here in Mount Shasta. Because we have a lot of Japanese people that come here. And one afternoon, I had a whole group of Japanese, and I had an interpreter that was interpreting. Right. And I drew that symbol that you have on your arm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the whole room just bursts out, and they're just chattering with one another. This is in 2004. They're chattering with one another. And I said to the interpreter, I said, what happened? You know, what's going on? And she said, well, you just drew the symbol for Christ. I said, what? She said, you just drew the symbol for Christ. I said, that's Chokure. She said, that's the symbol for Christ. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's amazing. I never heard that. All the things that... Neither had I. Not until I was with tried and true Japanese people. This, and Mrs. Takata never taught us that. In <clears throat> Reiki, this is known as the power symbol. Right. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you something. This, this was the beginning of my education in, in Japanese kanji. This symbol here, this coming down, is linear. And it's male. This is the masculine aspect of God. Counterclockwise is the female. 
male and female coming together creates. So when God the Father and God the Mother, the feminine aspect of God, or Holy Spirit, if you will, come together, they create energy. Wow. It's the symbol for Christ in Japanese. Let me show you a couple other things you'll enjoy. This, which you learned, right, mm -hmm. is Han. <clears throat> In Japanese, that means God. Wow. Okay? Oh. That means God. Nobody taught you that? No. Neither? Mm -hmm. All those years, 15 years of That's teaching amazing. Reiki, nobody ever taught me that that meant God. That's wild. This means a dimension. When you put this on it, it becomes Sha. As soon as God, or the presence of God, begins to come down through the dimension, it starts to become matter. Matter. Ma, female. Terra. Earth. Right. Matter, female. Han, coming down through the dimension. Okay? Mm -hmm. Han, Sha, Ze. Not all of God, just a little bit of God. Okay. Han, Sha, Ze. This is the symbol for mountain in Japanese. Because you can see from the mountain top. Mm -hmm. And this is the symbol for man. God coming down through the dimensions a little bit from to see from the to show mankind from the mountain top. Wow. Okay. Never would have known. I nobody would know. Okay. So Reiki is in its truest form form is very, very spiritual. Dr. Yasui, I do believe, was a Christian man. And I do believe what he taught, he taught 2,000 uh, practitioners. But when it got to Mrs. Takata, she was so angry at the Westerners, she altered it and charged outrageous <coughs> amounts of money. And she really made a mess of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah,